Hello, GCK family. Well, welcome to another amazing time learning about God's Word. Today, we are going to be reflecting, comparing short-term benefits and their long-term costs. You know, I was remembering when I was younger, I was such a sweet tooth. I would want to eat only candy. No proteins, no carbohydrates, nothing nutritional, just sweets. But my parents never let me. I mean, imagine if they had let me. I would have been happy at some point, elated be even because who doesn't like candy? But in the long run, it would have cost me my health. That's very true, Ella. <laughs> I'm glad you had a balanced diet and not just a sweet diet. You know, some of us still pick temporal and earthly gratification over eternal life, and that's not exactly a good choice. After today's message, I hope we'll reflect and change our ways. So now let's listen to Dr. Kumi. The rapture, the rapture. You will not miss the rapture. Now tell me, was the good I come to the church? Was the good I read my Bible? Was the good I made restitution? Was the good I evangelize? Was the good I give, I give, I pay tithes and offering? Was the good I attend all these retreats? Was the good I stay there in the sun and then the rapture happens? And he says, go marching in. And because of him fighting with your wife, him fighting with your husband, he trades on forgiving spirit. And because of initiating fight and violence, the rapture takes place and then he's nowhere to be found. She's nowhere to be found. I pray that will not happen unto you. First Corinthians chapter 15. I'm reading from verse 51. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But we shall all be changed. Verse 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And we shall be changed. And we shall be changed rapture it will happen yeah. and i pray you will not miss the rapture yeah. first thessalonians chapter 4 i'm reading from verse 14 the rapture you know there are people they have a habit of delaying reconciliation you and your wife you are like in a tournament of fighting, exchanging words, brutal words, angry words, thunderous words, and it was night. And then with that anger, with that thunder, with that exchange, she goes to her room, you go to your room. And while you're still lying down there, you are angry, angry, angry. And then you even remember some bad words you should have said, which you didn't remember at that time. But you couldn't get up. You said, that's enough tonight. And then in the night, the rapture takes place. Where is the reward and the result of all these years of labor and years of denial and years of this and years of that the rapture can take place anytime night or day wow you know this is so true sometimes we get into quarrels with our loved ones and instead of being the peacemakers as christ has called us to be we decide to be stubborn we don't want to be the first to apologize we think it makes us weak but really it doesn't it makes us christ-like that's very true Ella. and if you ask me i want to be christ-like mm -hmm. so let's keep listening here you are 
you have a mate at home. Your wife is gone to visit her parents or to do some other things. And now the flesh is calling. The wife is not around to satisfy the flesh. Or maybe your wife is even around, but you are forgotten about being crucified with Christ, dead and buried with Christ, and risen with Christ. And then privately you and the mate, you do whatever you are doing. And then uh, the rapture takes place. Look at this man who has been loud in testimony. I am saved. I am sanctified. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I talk in tongues. There you are. The flesh has not released you. And the rapture takes place. Look at that man. Money. Money. Gehazi. He's been the servant of the man of God. And now, look at money on the bench there. Look at money in the offering bag. And he said, I'm out of work. I need money. And he puts his sand. And he steals from God in the house of God. And when they are leading prayer, brethren pray tonight, it's going to be great. God will do this, God will do that. He's shouting and praying. Meanwhile, stolen money is in your account. And it's there. And you're spending stolen money. And the rapture takes place. And then we are gone. He tries to jump, my brother. Covetousness will not allow you to make it. Where will you be? After all this profession of religion. After all the participation in religion. Where will you be when the rapture happens? What will be your joy? That a million naira hindered you from eternity with God. What will be your joy? That ten minutes of fleshly pleasure with a mage, with a harlot, with a strange woman hindered you from making the rapture. Everybody knows you here. You're popular. And whatever you tell people to do, that's what they do, good or bad. And then, as popular as you are, the rapture takes place. And you are nowhere to be found. What will be your story at that time? First Thessalonians chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Verse 15. For this was say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them that are asleep. Verse 16, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Verse 17, then we which are alive and remain shall be cut up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. I will be there. I will be there. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. And so shall it be that we will all be with God in the end. But that's if we decide to do what God wants us to do. We have to let go of ourselves. 
our sinful flesh, our desires that hurt others. We have to let go of pride, greed, sexual immorality, and hold on to Jesus. Be intentional about our relationship with Him. I totally agree with you. Today as Christians, let's reflect on our lifestyle. To what end are all of these? We are, are we just religious or are we cultivating a relationship with God? If you haven't said yes to Jesus, now is the time. You cannot afford to miss the rapture. Online, rest of the time, this is the day of your salvation. As you already up your hand, stand up as I'm going to pray with you. Stand up right now, wherever you are. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord for you. Stand up right now, and I'm going to pray with you. Salvation has come. This is the time, and this is the day of your salvation. Now, as you are standing up briefly and quietly, tell the Lord, O oh Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, say it between you and the Lord, I know I am a sinner. I don't have personal power to overcome all these sins. But I turn from my sin. I repent of my sin. I throw away all my iniquities. I come in my heart, by my faith, in my volition, by myself. I come to you to save me and to forgive me. I know you will not reject me. Thank you, Lord. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. I receive your salvation. Whether I feel anything or not, I believe my prayers are answered. I am saved. Can you say that? I am saved. I can't hear you. I'm going to pray for you now. Keep up that time. Father, in the name of Jesus, we well, thank you. This is the time of showers of blessing, showers of rain, showers of redemption. And you said, ask in a time of the latter rain, and that you'll make the bright clouds, and you will bring showers to everyone. Therefore, Lord, all these here, there, online, in every congregation that receives your salvation now, grant them salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Do the work in their hearts. Cleanse all their sins away. Take the power of sin and break that yoke of sin from their lives. Confirm their salvation, their redemption, eternal life in the heart of everyone now. Lord, it is done. We receive. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. It is done. Amen. Father, you are a good God. You are a loving God. You are a merciful God. And you are a mighty, powerful God. With you, all things are possible. You dried up the Red Sea. You will dry up that is your blood. You made the Jericho walls to fall down. And every swelling will fall down from the body of your children. In Jesus' name. Now I send forth the power of the Lord upon your life. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Swelling of goiter and any other kind of swelling in your body. Come out in Jesus' name. Deaf, dumb, I pray the Lord will touch your ears right now. Touch your mouth right now. Your tongue right now. Hear and speak out in Jesus' name. Blind eyes, 
demon eyes. Right now, the touch of the Lord is on your eyes. You will see. As we open our eyes, you will see clearly in Jesus' name. Every incurable disease, cancer, ulcer, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS, problems in the lungs or breathing or in your bone or in your blood system, be healed in Jesus' name. All the messengers of death that wanted to take your life, I cancel that yoke. I remove that suffering in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who are paralyzed or they have stroke or they have broken bones or they are lame in any way. I pray that your power will come upon them right now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray whatever problem, whatever challenge, whatever sickness, whatever disease, touch everyone right now. Right, left, center, far back, in those halls, everywhere, online, in every congregation, every state, every nation, touch them. Heal them now in Jesus' name. Shake off the disease of the world out of their body. Make whole. Everyone. Everyone. Make them whole in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You have got it in Jesus' name. Now check up yourself. You have a testimony tonight. Thank you for joining us on our program today. Perhaps you have responded to God's call to salvation. He is called to come home and to experience His precious love. That call comes with a great promise. The promise that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you made the decision to follow Christ, we want to stand alongside you in your newfound faith and help you in any way we can. Please get in a good Bible-believing church and make achieving heaven your goal. Also, please visit us at www.gckhq.org to connect with us and please send us your prayer requests. We will be glad to hear from you. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power, our God, our God, our God. Let's go to the first verse. Water you turn into wine. Water you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you, no one like you, Lord. Into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes you rise. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. No one like you, Lord. None like you. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than ever. God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Our God is greater, our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any. Our God is healer, healer, awesome in power, our God. And if our God is for us, and if our God 
God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is with us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome and power, our God, our God is greater, our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, Awesome and power, my God, my God. Give the Lord a hand of praise all over the room. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise because our God is good, our God is great, and He is an awesome God. Amen. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the Global Crusade with Kumi. We believe that this episode has drawn you into a closer relationship with Jesus Christ, who loves you so much and gave his life that you might live. As we conclude today, we would love to get to know you personally. Please visit us at gckhq.org slash cwc to connect with us and enable us to share our helpful resources with you. Also, the greatest thing you can do is to share today's message with a friend so they too can be blessed. We are grateful for the time you have given today and look forward to seeing you tomorrow on GCK Daily. We also invite you to join us at our next Global Crusade. Times and dates are listed on the screen for your specific time zone. Thank, Thank you. you.